Hi, my name's David, and I'm here to show you Canadian compliance in Descara Books. First, we're going to click Set Up Your Organization. We're going to put in the tax registry, which is Canada. We're going to put in our financial year date and our book beginning date. So, for example, let's do March 1st, and then we can create. After creating, we can go to Settings, we can go to Organization Profile, and we can Edit. Inside here, we can click on Financial, and we can select Multi-Currency, and we can choose which currency we want. For example, maybe USD and the Pound, and let's save. We can also look at Compliance and put in the GST number, and we can put in the Business Number. We can also put in the address, 1 Blue Jay Way, Onto. And you can see the address will be picked up here. Then I can click Update or add another address. Next, we're going to go Settings. We're going to go Taxes. Inside here, I can see all the statutorily compliant taxes inside here. And if I want to create a tax group, I can add a tax group here as well by clicking here, putting in the name, description, tax code, and choose. Is it sales, purchase, or both? And then I can input the tax components here as well. And I can save it. We can go to settings, we can go to currency, and you can see all the currencies here, and you can select which currencies you want to activate or deactivate. So for example, if I want to activate Thai Bot, I can click on the I to activate it. If I want to deactivate it, I can go and click on Thai Bot, and like the United Kingdom Pound Sterling, and I can click deactivate. And if I want to activate several, I can click on, for example, Swiss Francs, and for example, Argentine pesos, and I can activate it. And if it's activated, I can go here and change the rate to however I'd like, for example, and save. And if I want to view the rate, I can just click view rate for the deactivated ones. All right, let's so click on bank. Inside here, let's add a bank account. We can put in the code, for example, AC-0001. Put in the name of the bank, maybe CIBC. Put in the description, CIBC. Select the currency, Canadian dollar, for example. Save it next. And then let's connect on a bank and let's click on played. Let's get started. Next, let's go search for a bank. So CIBI, or C, sorry. And I can see it here, all the different banks here, CIBC. I can also type in other banks, such as Canada. And I can see all the Canadian banks here as well, with the Canadian in their name. And I can search for other banks as well here. For example, Montreal. And I can see BMO Bank of Montreal, just to give you an idea. So then you click it, you put your card number, your password, and you can submit. Yes, exit. Next, let's go to Reports. Inside here, you can see Canadian Sales Tax Report Log, Tax Report by Tax Code. So if you connect the Canadian Sales Tax Report by Report Log, you can see you can input the GST number. You can say is GST, HST. You can activate it, and then you can select the first period start, PST, which first period start, PST, which period start, QST, which period starts and you can also decide is monthly, quarterly, half yearly or yearly, RST and what first period starts and again you can select the filing frequency and you can save it. So uh, settings have saved successfully so let's go and create and then I can select my sales tax report and select which one and click next and it'll generate.
Of course, there's no um, transactions in the system yet, but you can see how the report comes out. So let's create also uh, GST. And you can see how the information appears. And that was a quick look at Canadian compliance and Discara books.